This is a demonstration of using the Flight Gear Flight Simulator along with a uh, IDUPILOT Mega Autopilot, which is the autopilot we're planning on using in the um, search and rescue competition, um, along with the Q Ground Control Ground Control System, um, and a little proxy called Mav Proxy, which implements a uh, a UDP serial proxy for the MAVLINK protocol. MAV stands for Micro Aerial Vehicle. It's the protocol that various ground control stations use to talk to um, autopilots on small UAVs. Okay, so I'll just show you around the various pieces that we'll be using. So um, we'll be using the Flight Gear Flight Simulator. And the way I launch it is this little command here, uh, fgg ground at sh, which is a little shell script. Um, the shell script just launches the flight gear flight simulator with various options, turning off the introductory music, that sort of thing. The key parameters are, for example, that we're going to be using the Kingaroy Airport in Queensland. We're going to be operating in meters. The precise latitude and longitude that we want the plane to start at the heading where we want the plane to point at on the airport runway at Kingaroy, uh, the initial altitude sitting on the ground, etc. So those various parameters are in this little script to start the flight simulator. The second thing we're going to be using is the uh, MAV proxy. Now MAV proxy is a little C program that I've written in order to enable this hardware in the loop um, simulation. So MAV proxy uh, talks to a serial port. You can see here that I'm setting it up to talk to this FTDI serial port, which is connected to my Ardu Pilot Mega, which is attached to my laptop. Um, so this serial port talks to the, the APM board, and uh, that APM board, it's, it's the two, two half board that you see with the uh, IMU on top with the various sensors, the gyroscope, etc., and the main Arduino board, which is a uh, uh, AT Mega 1280 uh, Arduino. So MAV proxy, um, if we start it up, what it'll do is it'll um, give us this little interface where it's now talking to the APM, to the Arduino Mega, and we can see the splash screen from the APM as it boots up and um, it's sent its various parameter values across to the, the proxy. Um, and then we have various commands available within the proxy. We can, for example, force the autopilot into particular modes to loiter mode, automatic mode, manual, etc. We can also control waypoints, load and save waypoints and list the waypoints. And we can um, also edit any parameters that are available inside the autopilot. Uh, so, for example, we can go param list. Um, and occasionally it takes a couple of tries to get it to list because of packet loss across UDP. We can see it listing all of the available parameters that it's got there. These are all of the things that are settable within ArduPilot, which is normally set up using the APN uh, configuration tool. Instead, what I've done is built in an equivalent of that tool into the proxy here so that we have easier control of these parameters um, uh, while the plane is actually in flight. Uh, so we can, for example, ask it to uh, param show all the roll parameters, and we could do something like param set for example, the, we may want to set the um, integral parameter for the roll PID loop um, to something like 0.01, and we now see that it's now set that inside the, the APM, which means that'll just change the PID parameters for converting the current target navigation roll into servo values to actually uh, turn the plane, um, well, uh, change the ailerons anyway. Okay, so that's our little MAV proxy, and it's currently talking to our um, APM autopilot. So on my desk here, I've got lots of flashing lights on the little APM as it receives and sends heartbeat information from the MAV proxy. Now, other thing we've got here in another window, I have a copy of Q Ground Control. Now, Q Ground Control is a... Um, uh, program it's a uh, micro aerial vehicle ground control system and so what it does is um, uh, it talks to the uh, to MAV proxy receiving MAVLINK protocol packets and it sends back MAVLINK protocol packets to command the vehicle 
and so what it's going to do is it's going to show us a map and show what's happening when the plane is running. Okay, so um, oh, one final element of all of this is a debug console. Um, the MAV proxy code writes out status into a file status.txt once a second. And so what you do is you do a watch minus n wine of cat of status.txt. And that gives you an update of a lot of the internal parameters inside the Arju pilot. And that's quite handy because you can see a lot more about its internal calculations of servos and PID calculations, etc., which are not normally available in a ground control station. And that involves some modifications to the Arju pilot code to add extra transmitting of extra debug values. Um, but I found that extremely useful when debugging this whole setup.